Hello, I'm Wendy and this is Summer Bay Studio. Today I'm working on travel, a travel journal that I'm turning into a glue book. So I'm using this little insert that came with this set that has uh, a pink sparkly cover and it also has a couple of other inserts and I hope to fill it all with glue book stuff because to me, a glue book is an art form as much as any other craft or form of art. And I've got some new pieces of ephemera that I've cut out of a book. And I'm going to explain because people have asked me, where do I find these things? So let's get started and I'll show you how. All right, before I get started with the travel journal and working on this, this is a few things I've done before. I've done a little journaling and then a glue book page. So today I'm going to be working on this one. But before I get started, I wanted to answer that question that people have asked, which is, where do you find ephemera and stuff that's um, that I didn't purchase? Or should I, I should say that I haven't purchased as ephemera and background papers and that sort of thing. So there's always magazines. And one problem I see with magazines is that the pages are very glossy. So if if glossy isn't your thing, you might want to uh, cover them with a little bit of clear gesso or matte medium or something like that. If you're not bothered by that, you can find beautiful pictures in magazines. For example, if I were doing a larger page, this would be a gorgeous background. And then you can put whatever else you want on top of it. Um, are they all upside down? I think some of them are anyway. So that's one option. Another one is and these are pages that I've just torn out of magazines because I like the I like the look of everything. You know, gosh, they are going all different directions. You know, like this is beautiful for a large page. This is lovely along the side. This would fit well actually in a travel journal page, so I might use that for that sometime. Same with this. And this is from an English garden magazine. And then there's you know, look at all these. These are fantastic. And then I found also uh, another a book. This one, these ones are actually from an old book that I found in front of a used bookstore in their giveaway section. And they're all artworks by famous artists. And I thought, okay, well, this is offers some really nice pieces. And you know, even if you only use little bits of them. There's lots to do here. There's a nice Van Gogh and, you know, mostly these are kind of the Impressionists. And then what else have I got in this pile? Oh, this is more magazine stuff. So, so those are some of the options that you can use. Now, the other thing is I have gone to the used bookstores and actually looked specifically for illustrated books and I found some wonderful ones. One of them, one of the best ones was an illustrated cookbook. And it was, all the illustrations were done by hand by Shelley Reeves Smith, who's done a lot of illustration and licensed her work on all kinds of things. So I just took all the little pieces and some of them are, are quite, quite a bit larger, but anytime there was even something small, I cut that out and I've kept all of those. There's some more right there. So that's another option. And I've also uh, found books by um, Beatrix Potter and ones like this which is uh, the Edith Holden. It's very popular. And then I found books like this, which are also good sources. So I've cut out big flowers and, you know, sometimes they're not all that suitable, but you can, like, I don't want to cut around this because it would, you know, take me forever, but I could use parts of it. And then something like this, like you can use two flowers and just cut those around, around those. So you can cut the pieces apart and use them however you want. Like this is a nice little ploof of carnations and beautiful roses in here. So that's another source. I found find gardening books and flower arranging books to be really good. And another one is this one. Now this is an old book. It was in my library, my own library. And I've had it for over 40 years and I've, I've been cleaning things out and I just went you know what I think it's done its duty towards me I bought it because of the beautiful artwork in it and what I've done is I just went through and pulled out all the pages that have any, had anything with 
art on it. And this pile is, is just some of the pieces that I've gleaned from this book. So I've got a whole lot of new pieces of ephemera that I can use that are unique because for one thing it's an old book uh, and it's you know it's done by Chinese masters and so there you go. Another place you can get good papers is from old novels or textbooks. So I got this one which is Marjorie Morningstar. I found it at a, a thrift store and it was published, last published in 1955 and I like it because the format isn't huge but it's got lots of pages in it so if I what I'm going to use this one for is an altered book journal and I have to take out a lot of the pages because when you start adding in pockets and all those things and tags and it makes for nice thick pages but if you don't take these out you can't close the book and it'll you know break the binding and in this case it's already kind of broken and I will be repairing that but I was looking at at the um, signatures and counting the pages and you can see here where they where they meet so it's a, just a matter of finding the middle ones so this is the center of a signature and then what I did was I just gently tore along these threads because it's a sewn binding. And I pulled out some papers here that I'm going to use in my travel journal this morning. Or I guess it's afternoon now, but today. So this doesn't damage the binding at all, but it gives me these nice old soft papers. And the, it seems like the older books had nicer papers and they make really nice backgrounds and things like that. So that's what I'm working on um, and that just covers that because I thought I would address that because people have asked me about that. So today I'm going to work on this book as I said and I'm going to start by using some of this old paper just for some background and I'll just tear it in half to start with. And I think I'll use this side and in fact I think I will tear it along there so that it roughly covers most of the page. I find, um, I think it's fun when you have these kind of things, cha uh, chapter headings, dinner at the Waldorf, in a layout that you're working on because it kind of makes you curious. It's a little bit enigmatic, you know. So my tear here isn't very straight and I'm, I kind of like it like that. So look, oh, it's actually a better fit than I anticipated. That's wonderful. And I'll keep this little strip in my scraps. All right, so I'm going to use that for a background on that side. And then I found this book. It's an old hymn book um, at a, the same store, actually. And I thought the same thing, pages, it's actually kind of broken. The binding is kind of broken. Printed in 1983, which is a surprisingly long time ago now. I'm just going to tear out a page here. Actually, I'll tear it from somewhere where the binding isn't broken. Um, one thing you can look at with these is that this is a very densely, um, has a lot of visual activity on it. This one has quite a bit less. So, and a lot of them have a lot of words because there's a lot of verses. And now I'm going to put this one on this side. It's also almost exactly the right length here, except for it needs to be torn about there. And it's easier to tear from the long side, I find. Looks about right. Help if I didn't move it. Okay, let's see if I got that straight at all. Well, it's a little bit off. It's a little bit off. So you know what? I'm just going to do this so that it's a little bit less off. Okay, those are my backgrounds. Oh, this one's different. I haven't really used this one. It's just called an all-purpose craft glue and it's, it's kind of semi 
transparent, but at least it comes out of the nozzle. I'm just going to place this right here, get it as close as I can, get it out of the flowers over there, and get it on kind of smoothly. Now what I do want to do is make sure I get this. There, I think that's going to work. Now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll come right back. All right, these are nice and dry. I actually just went and had lunch and let them get good and dry. And I want to do, I don't really have a theme. I'd like to do some things that are just, they just kind of go together. And so I picked out this piece as a starting place. But one thing I want to do, I think, is put a little color in here somehow. And I might use this paint. But first I want to pick out a few other things that will kind of that kind of appeal to me. Let's just put it that way. And I know at the back here, I've got all these, so I want these to come out because I love them and I think they'll look nice. So this is going to be just kind of a starting place um, and I want the color, colors that go. So we've got this kind of kind of reddy, pinky reddy color and the bright yellow of the birds. So that's what I'm looking to kind of match. And really anything goes. I think that one is, I really like that one. In fact, I don't need to, I don't think I need to even look any further. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that one. Because I really like it. That was easy, wasn't it? Alright, so these little guys can go back in their sleeve here. Um someone asked me where I got these and you can buy them at at stationery stores like Staples. Sometimes they have them at dollar stores. And yeah, I got mine. I think I ordered mine. I got a big box of them because I used to make catalogues of you know my artwork and whatnot and uh, this, this is the big flower grouping I don't know if I like that or not but I'll keep it out and then over here I've got so many things now I'm still trying to kind of go okay where, what's my what's my filing system going to be so that things can be found a nice piece. So I'll just pull out some of these. Some of them are too big as you can easily see. Don't want to spend too much time on this. This part because really you can deliberate forever. Whoops, stay there. These sweet peas keep poking their head up here. Aha! I don't know if that'll work or not, but let's let's try it. And we don't need birds. This is my bird page. We don't need those because and these are big as well. And hmm, I think maybe I'll just kind of leave the smaller choices until we get some of the bigger ones in. That seems like a good idea to me. So if this is in here, do I need another vine of? flowers maybe and does this work anywhere not really but that might and again kind of like that um, not so much you know all right I'm I'm unsure about those so I'm going to get my smaller bin out here and just see if we can find something that just really works well. I don't want more birds otherwise it'll just sort of lessen the effect. I don't know that I want a person's face for the same reason because we have her unless I was doing a whole bunch of people in the pictures. That one's really sweet, but I don't think so. I 
I really like this part of the process, just looking at all the things because they're so they're so interesting. I like that too. And then these ones are bigger again, so I'm not going to use them. But I have some of these tags, which I'm I'm really enjoying. I recent only recently got them. And this one I actually printed on a piece of vellum. So I printed, I guess I printed pink, a pink background on it. I don't remember, it was a while ago. So how is everyone today? Thank you, by the way, to everyone who replied about my question about having music. It's, it's kind of 50-50, I think. So I've decided what I'll probably do is just have it in the background, but turn it down so that there's just, it's just like a little, a little hum in the background, maybe. Otherwise, when I, when I stop thinking about things that I'm talking about, and you know, I have dead air space. I don't, I don't really want dead air space. I guess that's my thing. I like to have a little bit of sound in the background. So that I think that's the way I'm going to go with that. Okay, we've got those, and this one actually works quite well because it really brings out that that red. And these I'm not sure about. And I'm not sure about that one either, to be honest. I think this could go over here. Okay, um, and maybe I will use this one. This is really pretty. That could go there. Um, I feel like I don't want anything too busy in the background here, but what, so what I'm going to do is just get a paintbrush. So as I'm putting this together, ideas are coming to me. I didn't start with all my ideas at once, but I'm going to use some of this paint and just put a little bit of a, a swoosh on it and see how that goes. Now the brush was almost dry. I did dampen it a little bit. I think that's enough. Okay, now this dries really fast. I could wait for it to be completely dry or I could just start gluing, but first I'm going to use this and I'm going to distress the edges with this pink, I think, because it'll work in with the colors. Yeah, that's nice. I like this perfect edging. Yeah, that's almost completely dry. It's just, just slightly damp. I realize that this doesn't turn them off. It just pulls up, which is very handy, actually. Okay, let's just put this down. Hotel St. Petersburg. So I'm going to put down the underlying things, the ones that I've decided, because this one, this one with the birds kind of goes on top. And this little girl. The only thing I was disappointed about with these books by Cicely Mary Barker was that the pictures were on both sides of the page, so you had to sacrifice one every time you used one, unless I just made it as a, a flip out or something, but that doesn't really work for a blue book. One thing I don't like about this bottle is that it's got a big nozzle, so it squirts out lots of glue. All right, I'm gonna go back to this now because I cleaned it out and it's got the smaller nozzle so it can get into these little little spaces easily. Something's going wrong with my camera batteries today. They are only lasting a few minutes, so I don't know if it's the if it's the charger or what, but that's not very workable for me. You know what? I think it goes. How does this go? It goes this way. sense. That makes more sense. All right, now I want to put down 
this little piece and I'm going to also pink this the edges of it. I didn't do it on this one because I think it would wouldn't work as well with the um, yellow but the yellow is picked up in the birds and in this little girl her background. I guess that's a fairy. Yeah so so we're it, totally into fall weather now, where one day it's like summer and the next day you need to turn on the furnace. So I had it on this morning because it was heavy cloud cover. And now the sun's out and it's like shirt sleeve weather out. So it's a bit crazy. All right, so these guys, okay, I've got a problem here. They actually almost fit like this, but they look kind of goofy. And I thought I would I'd prefer them like this, but then it ends up being over the over the edge there, and I'm not really sure how to cut cut it apart without it not working. Cut it off right there, and then put this guy over here. I guess that's the only way. So he can come right up to this edge like that. And then this one can be over here, needs to go like this, and just kind of meet there. So I'm going to cut this out so I can see more of the music. And it'll probably be easier to glue down as well because it won't be so stiff because this, the pages of this book are almost cardstock. They're so heavy, so they're not very flexible. So they need to be good and stuck to keep from flipping up. So if we do that, we can be squawking at that one, kind of that way. Yeah, I think that works. Now I do feel like I need something in here, like that. And let's see what we've got in here. I want to introduce black in here? No, I don't. There's a square one. There's a green one. Chocolat Paris. I think that works, but I'd like to get another shape. I might put that over there. Let's see what we've got for shapes here. I love this, but 25 cents. And here's one. I think I'll go with that. Because why not? But I want to put it underneath the bird's beaks. I just heard a sound. It must be a Facebook comment or something. My computer is in the other room, which I use as an office. So here's a question. Do you prefer um, a, like journal pages and glue books with a theme or just random? Just random artwork and things that work together. Okay, I think I'm going to glue this guy down and then we'll work on the little pieces because we can fit lots of little pieces in. But for this one, I need something underneath it. So I'm going to use a piece of paper like this. Because we have to go off the edges a lot on this. In fact, I think I'm going to use a glue stick. Because it's easier to go right off the edges. And like I said, this is kind of firm stuff this paper. Let's make a card stock. Okay. Like that. I hope this sticks down. I have found glue sticks to be somewhat unreliable. They need to be coaxed a little bit. 
However, something pops up. Oh, I didn't get enough glue. I'll just use this other glue on it. And I'm going to use, do the same with this bird, but we'll see. I just need to put it on a lot thicker. I don't know. So he's over here having a conversation with the guy over there. I inevitably get glue on my fingers. I guess it's just par for the course because it is, after all, a glue book. All right, let's get this beak up. So my husband and I had wanted to go to the Oregon coast this fall. And we were waiting and waiting and we've been waiting and waiting and waiting to see if they'd open the border. We were hoping to go this month. And they still haven't opened the borders for Canadians to go south. I know not why. Because they opened it for Americans to come north, like in July. And the Americans won't open it. So if you're, if you're in America, give them the gears and tell them to open the border so that we can cross. So, yeah. I'm really not sure what they're holding out for. Maybe they're just thinking about other stuff, I don't know. Anyway, um, we've abandoned our idea to go to the Oregon coast because we figured well, even if they do open the border in the next week, which they're supposed to have another look at it on the 21st of September, who knows what the um, what restrictions are going to be either to get into the country or to get back into this country just who knows because they they keep changing their minds and they keep adding things and they keep you know whatever so we'll see I like that one right there so where's my paper here Let's see if my battery's hanging on there it's a brand new battery just took it out of the package so it should be good but I'm kind of wondering if my um, my recharger doesn't recharge unless a battery is absolutely empty so let's well, we'll see I have to ask my husband he's kind of sciencey on stuff like that I'm just gonna put that there I'm trying to keep things from being too far over into the binding because otherwise they don't they don't always like going around that corner so that's nice that's really nice okay uh, I want something over here and I like that why is this popping up I think I just didn't put glue right to the edge okay lie down there hold on a second let's see Do I want to put one of these in here I actually made these. I bought stamps and then I made a master board. I think this is too white because of the creamy background. Yeah, I don't think they work that well. I mean, it looks okay here, but let's just see. If I put this somewhere else, I like it there. Hmm. I like it better here. I like this better here than this. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to go over it with this, which still has some ink in it, so that it tones down the brightness of the paper a little bit. Yeah, that worked. Okay, move these out of the way, Wendy. Right. Anyway, we decided, what's the point of even trying? So instead we're going to Vancouver Island for a few days. Just to get out of the house. And enjoy the weather. We, w we did go away for a week um, at the beginning of August. 
but it was to go to um, a family funeral and we added some days on to visit a lot of family and to stop along the way because it's like if you keep going and hardly stop to eat it's a 12-hour drive and we went but we're kind of done with that sort of thing we want life to be a little more leisurely and we you know we get a few achy painy bits when we sit like that for a long time so that's the extent of our getaways since a year ago so we both kind of feel like we're due I mean, my sister and I are taking a little trip later on and I'm not even gonna say where we're going um, I feel like I should put something in here and maybe up here too and so I'm going to just look at my butterflies look at my butterflies so there's kind of a that one's too big I need a tiny butterfly Maybe like this little blue guy. Although the introduction of blue isn't... Well, this is blue, so I guess it could work. Okay, well, that's a possibility. What else have we got in the little, little butterflies? Let's see. One could fly in there, couldn't he? This one has too many colors. I think this one does kind of work for this spot. So we'll just sticker that on there. This one I'm not crazy about. So it's a no-go at the moment. But what about uh, stamp. Okay, I don't think I want that. This one's nice. Look at this, I just got those, aren't they pretty? Okay, let's um, move the... and find a little block, because I think that one can go right there. Can fit on this tiny one. Yeah, there we go. So the question is red or brown? I'm thinking brown. All right, let's try that. I'm just going to put a petal over me, over the corner there and press it down. Yeah, I like it. And I'm going to do it again up here. Only this time I'm using red. Brick red, it says. Just get it nice and juicy there, hopefully. Boy, it doesn't look like it's got much on it. Mm, that's more like it. I need a good squish. And a good press. Hmm, it's a bit too, 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 I think. Too smushy. Anyway, it looks okay. Fills that blank space. There, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. I like it. I like the backgrounds. I, I want to use more of these. The music and, and the pages background. This one I did watercolor on the background, which is pretty as well, but... I like this sort of busyness of this. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I wish you would do so. And click the little bell so you get the notifications when I've got a new video. And also click the like button. And I would love it if you'd leave a comment. And I'll see you next time.